China is flexing its muscles. As the second richest economy in the world, its businessmen and politicians are involved just about everywhere in Asia, Africa and Latin America. Now, though, China is taking a big interest in a very different part of the world, the Arctic. It has started calling itself a near Arctic power, even though Beijing is almost 3,000 km, 800 miles, from the Arctic Circle. It has bought or commissioned several icebreakers, including nuclear-powered ones, to cut out new routes for its goods through the Arctic ice. And it is eyeing Greenland as a particularly useful way station on its polar Silk Road. Greenland is self-governing, though still nominally controlled by Denmark. It is important strategically for the United States, which maintains a vast military base. At Bull in the far north, both the Danes and the Americans are deeply worried that China should be showing such an interest in Greenland. You have got to go there to get an idea of how enormous Greenland is. It is the twelfth largest territory in the world, two times bigger than the United Kingdom, two million square kilometers of rock. And ice. Yet its population is minuscule at 56. 0000ROUGHLYT. He size of a town in England. As a result, Greenland is the least densely populated territory on Earth. About 88% of the people are Inuit. Most of the rest are ethnically Danish. Many of whose ancestors started colonizing it one. 000 years ago, the Inuit died. Several centuries later, over the years, neither the Americans nor the Danes have put all that much money into Greenland. And now, look, the capital feels pretty poor. Every day, small numbers of people gather in the center to sell things that will generate a bit of cash, cut off clothes, children eat school books, cakes they have made, dried fish. Reindeer horn carvings. Some people also sell the bloody carcasses of the big king-eyed ducks, which Inuits are allowed to hunt, but are not supposed to sell for profit. At present, you can only fly to Nuuk in small propeller-driven planes. In four years, though, that will change spectacularly. The Greenlandic government has decided to build three big international. Airports capable of taking large passenger jets. China is bidding for the contracts. There will be pressure from the Danes and Americans to ensure the Chinese bid does not succeed. But that will not stop China's involvement in Greenland. Interestingly, I found that opinion about the Chinese tended to divide along ethnic lines. Danish people were worried. About it, while、well, Inuits thought it was a good idea, the Greenlandic Prime Minister and Foreign Minister refused to speak to us about their government's attitude to China. But a former Prime Minister, Kuyupik Kleist, told us he thought it would be good for Greenland. But the Foreign Affairs spokesman of the main Venstre party in the Danish coalition government, Michael Ostrup Jensen. Was forthright about Chinese involvement in Greenland. We do not want a communist dictatorship in our own backyard, he said. China is sales technique in other countries where its companies operate is to offer the kind of infrastructure they badly need: airports, roads, clean water. The Western powers that once colonized many of them have not usually stepped in to help. And most of these governments are only too grateful for Chinese aid, but it comes at a price. China gets access to each country as raw materials, minerals, metals, wood, fuel, foodstuffs. Still, this does not usually mean long-term jobs for local people. Large numbers of Chinese are usually brought in to do the work. Country after country has discovered that Chinese investment helps China's economy a great deal more than it helps them. And in some places, South Africa is one of them. There are complaints that China's involvement tends to bring greater corruption.
But in MOOC it's hard to get people to focus on arguments like this. What counts in this vast, empty, impoverished territory is the thought that big money could be on its way. Klopik Kleist put the argument at its simplest. We need it, you see, he said. A poacher has been ordered to watch the Disney film Bambi repeatedly after he was convicted of illegally killing hundreds of the Missouri hunter David Barry. Uh, must view the film at least once a month during his year-long sentence. He was arrested in August, along with two family members, for killing the deer, taking their heads and leaving their bodies to rot. Prosecutors said it is reportedly one of the biggest poaching cases in Missouri history. On top of the jail sentence for the illegal deer hunting, Josh Robert George ordered Barry Chandler to view the Walt Disney movie Bambi, with the first viewing being on or before December 23, 2018. And at least one such viewing each month thereafter. During his spell in prison, the 1940 to cartoon about woodland creatures shows a hunter kill the mother of eponymous deer character Bambi. A months-long investigation spanning several states led to the arrest of Barry Dr. His father David Perry Sr. and his brother Kyle Perry, according to local newspaper The Springfield News Leader. While the total number of deer taken illegally is unknown, Lawrence County is conservation agent, and a bond said it could be several hundred. Perry Jr. received a year-long sentence in Lawrence County Prison after pleading guilty to illegally taking wildlife. He has also been sentenced to a subtracted day term in Barton County Prison for a firearms probation violation, and both he and his father had their hunting privileges revoked for life by the Missouri Conservation Commission, a popular tourist attraction. Has become the latest Chinese company to show solidarity with Hu Ah's chief finance officer, Man Wang Fu, who was arrested in Canada on 1st of December. Shannon Mountain Scenic Park in eastern Hainan Province said it would waive the $9.465 yuan ticket fee for anyone carrying a Hu Ah phone. Miss Man, who was given bail in Canada. Faces extradition to the U.S. on charges of breaking Iran sanctions. Her case has upped tensions with China. Use Huawei phones, shoot grand photos on the mountain, and notice on the Shenlong Park. Its social media account said, "We wish friends around the world who support Huawei's success and bliss." The offer would last until 29 December. The South China Morning Post reported. But it was met with some criticism among China, its social media users, who claimed it was discriminatory. Huawei phone owners are being offered other enticements too. A can get a 20% discount at a bar in Beijing. Seen in Beijing, bring a Huawei phone and get 20% off. Similar to this story we covered yesterday. HTTPS T. Qxl19ypqlpic Twitter com soccer lof end of Twitter post by Atlu Ocean G. At least one firm has threatened to penalize anyone buying Apple products. A few days ago, Man Party Shanshan based LED and display manufacturer offered subsidies to any employees buying Huawei phones. It also pledged to fine anyone who bought an Apple iPhone. As prosecutors allege, Ms. Mel, 46, used the Huawei subsidiary called Skycom to evade sanctions on her own between 2009 and 2014. They also allege she publicly misrepresented Skycom as being a separate company from Huawei, and that she deceived banks about the true relationship between the two companies. Ms. Mel. Who is the daughter of Huawei? Its founder has denied any wrongdoing and said she will contest the allegations. Life of Huawei is high-flying errors. The United States has been investigating the Chinese telecoms giant, the world's second-largest smartphone maker.
since 2016, believing that it used the Skycom to bring United States manufacturing equipment and millions of dollars in transactions to Iran in violation of sanctions. Ms. Mani's detention comes amid an increasingly acrimonious trade dispute between Washington and Beijing. China is angry at her detention, saying she has not violated any laws. Beijing has threatened severe consequences unless Canada releases the executive since her arrest. Two Canadians, a former diplomat under businessmen, have been detained in China on suspicion of harming national security. As President Donald Trump said last week that he might intervene in the US Justice Department its case against Ms. Meng if it would serve national security interests or help achieve a trade deal with China.